during uh, the conference who had mentioned something about we are in the midst of a sensory revolution. Yeah, so there's a, a, toy, a term that's been coined, which is sensory revolution. It came from Paul Sappho of the Institute of the Future. It basically comes from the observation that smartphones now have eyes in the form of a camera, ears in the form of their microphone, skin, and that you can touch them. Uh, and a sense of where they are based on their GPS. And when you combine all that technology together, you can come up with really amazing technologies and also really amazing ways of learning. Uh, so for example, we have a program called uh, Google Sky Map, which is basically, it takes your smartphone and turns it into a planetarium in your hand. So because the phone knows where it is due to the GPS and because of the accelerometer, it understands how it's being held. So it will tell you what star you're looking at in the sky. If you want to search for a star, it will guide you with arrows over to where you should hold your camera to see that. Uh, and when you think about that, you know, people used to have to go to planetariums, very specially made buildings, in order to learn and, and, and interact with the sky that way. And now they can do it in the palm of their hands with the real sky above them. Uh, and there's this whole concept of augmented reality that's built on the sensory resolution, sensory revolution observation. And that really comes down to how can we add things to the world based on these devices that we're all carrying with us in order to understand it better, interact with it better, and, and basically make it more convenient and useful for us.